Okay, friends and family, chat one Joe here. Um, I'm working on this car since 2019. You know a lot about it. You've seen it in multiple videos. A lot of work's gone into this car. Pretty amazing looking, but we have decided on a color scheme. We're going to go with just a plain purple. This was an example to get me to see if it would grow on me, and it has. Um, but what I'm going to do is I am going to measure the width of the hood. This is an experiment. I'm checking this out. I'm going to measure the width of the hood. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the hood purple, but I'm going to leave black stripes is what we're going to do today. At least that's what I'm going to try to do today. So I have to figure out how to set up my camera so that y'all can see. And, uh, and I can work at the same time. So trying to figure out a good place to put you folks so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, should have a stand, right? But uh, I could always hold the phone too. Um, we've done a lot of body work on this hood. This hood has actually been here and been here. I actually have another hood out in the yard. So um, a lot of people say, oh, it's a lot of work. Why are you wasting your time? It's not wasting my time. I like to... I like to try different things. So, like I said, I'm going to use, uh, we call this Scotch Bright. Uh, all the body work was originally done on this hood. Um, what you see now is, is a, there's an epoxy resin here, and then there's two or three coats of uh, black enamel that I put on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it all down with the 3M with the uh, Scotch Bright, and uh, then I'm going to measure the width. And then we are going to use tape, and we're going to create two rally stripes on either side and then we're going to paint the hood purple and leave the black stripes so it'll be interesting to see how this is going to turn out um and i'm just going to get to it and as you can see you don't want to dig too deep there's my son we are live on tiki tock but i told him my idea and um if you want to be the cameraman that would be excellent and like i said you know a lot of the body work's already been done on the hood here we got stuff called, see this here? This is like webbing or cracking. This is under the surface, so hopefully we can... Now see, you're digging in with the fingers, and it's good. And everybody's everybody's uh, first thing to do with these scotch Brite is to dig in with your fingers. You don't want to do that because in the final coat of paint, you're going to see finger grooves. So you want to try to keep even pressure, level. That's why, you, that's why we block sand, too. But see, these could be trouble when I go to lay down the purple. Actually, we're lucky. They're coming right up. Now remember, anything that you can feel on the surface, you're going to see. So you want this to be as smooth as possible, but you also want to knock off the shine, because that will let you know. You see the shine here? So we have that shine, that sheen, you want to get rid of that. And that'll be sanding far enough, because like I said, all the deep, this hood was actually stripped down to the bare metal. Now, if you notice here, there's a dent, there's dent, and see how wonky this is? Underneath this, or here, watch for a second, hold on. Underneath the hood, because it's so old, there's supposed to be some kind of a filler here. To, to keep it from being wonky like it. See how it's wonky? But see, a lot of times, too, what happens with these old hoods is the heat from the motor will actually warp the metal. So my other hood is in a lot better condition than this one is. But uh, I'm going to use this one for now, and we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to take it down, and we're going to measure it up, and then we're going to paint it purple, and we are going to put some stripes. See how it just did that? Just fell right in here in the middle. That's because the metal's all worked on this, so... It was a waste of money when I bought this hood, but I'm doing all of this, okay? I'm not no professional body man. I did do body work growing up, you know, but anything that I can do, you can do. Just watch stuff on it. Listen to what people are telling you. Unfortunately, you folks can't comment. And that really stinks for me because I really enjoy communicating. And uh, TikTok did that with the... Uh, subscription thing and, and I don't blame you I wouldn't want to deal with that either but if you see I'm knocking the shine down see how it's all pushed in now that's really this hood is really in bad shape so we are definitely going to have to eventually put the other one on here 
And he is done work for the day. He gave me about 11 minutes and he's tapping out and he is on the swing. As long as there's nothing too big, thick and chunky. No, son, go have fun. You're okay. Um, like I said, a lot of the work was already done to this, so we don't have to go super crazy. You want to remember, whatever you feel on the surface is going to show up in the paint. Okay? There's also a thing called feathering that you would want to do, and we're not going to show you that today. Because that's heavy duty sanding. That's when you, you know, when you're really working it out. But you see spots like this. Now I don't feel that, which is good. That means that's something on the surface. These we don't feel. So this is pretty smooth. So this should look really good when we, when we, I'm not going to do the whole hood now, but I'm going to do a half a hood so I don't have you on the phone all day. But, uh, like I said, click like if you can, share, follow. And uh, for those of you just joining, me and my son bought this car off of Facebook Marketplace in 2019. And we got really, we did get lucky, but we didn't get lucky. I'll do a step back and let you take a look at the vehicle. It's a 1966 Chevy Caprice. Bought it in 2019 off of Marketplace. And... Uh, we thought we got lucky. I paid $2,000 for it, which wasn't bad. It was a good deal. But the frame was in trouble. And I was lucky I found an old school hot rod guy who specialized in welding and alignment and frames. And he came to the house and he said, oh, don't worry, I can save it. So $1,000 later, we were able to save it and the project continued. But yeah, for 2000 bucks, I think we did pretty good. And like I said, it's a... It's a uh, Oh, look at that. I just saw somebody say something. Hey, did somebody just comment? Because I just saw 73 Dodge Dart pop up. So, I mean, I'd love to communicate with you guys if you have questions, but unfortunately, this live thing is doing something new on me, so I'm trying to figure it out. But hang out, learn, watch, listen. This you can pick up at Home Depot, Lowe's, Auto Parts stores. We call, I used to call it Scotch Bright. Uh, it's a fairly thick foam pad, but it's got some abrasion to it. I could use, you know, a 220 or a 320, but I think this is just right for knocking the shine off and just giving me a little bit of adhesion. You have to have some kind of adhesion now. I think that's good enough. We'll stand back. You see the difference. See the difference to the sides of the hood? This side sanded. This side is not. You see how you still have the shine. You have no shine here. That's all you would need. If the, I mean, all the heavy body work was already done on this, so you wouldn't have to go any further with that. You could stay right there. And... uh now what we're going to do is we're going to try to get an idea. You definitely want to try to clean it off. I didn't hook up my compressor today. This should be good enough. Usually I would use my uh, air hose with an air tip and uh, I would blow it, blow all the dust off. But like I said, this is going to be an experiment here for those of you just joining me. We are going to go purple with this car. Um, we're going with a regular gloss purple. This was actually a purple chrome. I did this a couple weeks ago just as an experiment. Um, just to get a feel of what the purple would look like, I put the purple on. As you can see, I like it. The grill on me. I think it looks really good. And then I was thinking even more. I like the black as well. So I decided that I am going to put rally stripes on this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the black. We're going to do the rest of the hood purple. And uh, this is the purple we're going to be using. That's right, you heard me rattle can. I do have a spray gun. I do have a compressor, but I don't have enough air pressure to run a gun. So this is what you call a backyard build. And that's exactly what this is. So we're going to, I think we should get the width of the entire hood first and give us an idea of the center. It's a big car, so. I'll try and get it straight across here the best we can. And you try to look from this angle to make sure that she's as straight as you can go. It would be nice if I had my assistant, but my assistant is uh, 13 years old and <laughs> he has a tendency to want to do everything else but work on the project card that I bought for him and I, but that's okay. 
at definitely 58 inches across it looks like for a hood but what do you want to try to do okay we're gonna be uh we're gonna be having fun with this one aren't we like i said i am not by no means a professional body man i am a oh there's my helper boy oh boy could i use some help here and now he's coming out with an inbuck gun, which I don't think we're going to be using that, no, but okay. I needed help drawing something in the door. Okay, good. You helped your mother out. You're a good man. Are you, hold that for me, because it's jumped about seven times on me, and it's making me cuckoo. All right, so we look. See what I mean? <laughs> this is definitely not working out. We're going to be loose with paint. Oh, man. Uh, just hold that, hold that end down for me, and I'll hold my end. All right, let's, let's see if it's straight across. How's it look? Does it look straight? It looks straight to me, right? Right about there, so we're 58 inches. So, if you're 58, it's 29 dead center. So, because the stripe, I'm not sure where we're going to put the stripe. We're going to mark here. 29, right there is the center of the, of the hood right there. You see that? That's your center. 29 inches. So, 29 and 29 is what? 40, 58, and how far is it? So, let's see. Yeah, 58 to 29 to 29. That makes sense, right? 58. Okay, so we're at the 29 mark in the center of the hood. Now, here's what we're going to do. We want to go from the center to the edge. Right, so now we just figured out the center, right? So now we want to go. Luke, where you at? Lost my partner again. That's okay. Um, this is going to be a little bit trickier. Like I said, it would be a little better if I had a helper, but it's okay. So there's our 29 mark. We're going to go from here to there just to check, okay, and then I figure 29 inches, maybe we could start the stripe at 23 and maybe 13, 23 and 13, what do you think? I put the stripe here. Or we put it at 19. So we got 29 inches. So let's think about this. Because you want to place it right. You know, doing rally stripes, I've never done them. And I know if you don't do it right, it's going to look terrible. Now, I was thinking of going, leaving this black and running the purple. But we definitely want to try to go even. So I figure 23, 29... Okay. 20, hey, I need your help. Come here. You need a drill? I got you. No, no, I don't need a drill. But I do need you to hold the... Uh... This thing, guys. No, no, no. Get that thing out of there. What are you doing? What are you doing? They're not drilling nothing. I think we should go to the four-inch mark here. Hold that. Yep, hold that. So we're looking at 29 from there to there. Hold it still. So I think we should go with the five. We'll start one stripe at five. Let's see here. Hold on. Because we got... We gotta write this down. You can start a stripe here. And that's thick. We're doing four inch four inch stripes there. Alright, so there you go. Four and we'll start a stripe there. See the marks? And then we're gonna go back here. We should do four inches, so we don't too far apart. There's that's that's pretty thin though, isn't it? I think we go a little bit thicker. Let's go with eleven. So that's Six inches, right? Six. So you go one, two, right? Six, one, two, four, five, or six. We'll start here again, and then we'll go two, three, five, and six. Now here's the thing. Check it out. I don't know if that's gonna look right. But the stripe half on and half off. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if that would look right. All right, let's do this. Let's get where, where are you at? I need you to hold the camera for this next part because I got to get tape and I can't do it without. You destroyed my drill. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Okay, so here, hold this for me for a minute. We'll use that later. Hold this for me. 
Sorry about that, guys. Hold on. Now, now what I'm going to do is we're going to we're going to run a line down the center. See, here's the beautiful part about masking tape is we can actually tape it up, take a look, see what we think, and if we don't like the way it looks, we don't have paint on yet. So we can actually start over. So we're going to put a piece of tape on our 29-inch spot, which will be right about there. Tap it down right at that point. Then comes at the front of the vehicle. Take me, not just the tape. You got to see the, 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 the process. And you can see here. And then, and of course, we have tape that's not here. So we're going to try to go. We're going to roll up the best we can. And it's done. I did do some pinstriping in my old days. So remember, the placement's everything. If it, if it looks wonky or crooked, it's going to mess everything up. So I think that looks pretty, pretty dead set. We're going to take a look at that. Look at that. What do you think? Look pretty center on the 29 inch line. Right? I think that looks pretty good. Come over here to my right. We gotta fix this side. I messed this up. So now I said six inches. Right? I said about six. So. And we want to go all the way down the front of the cow because it just wouldn't look right if we didn't. So I'm gonna stop. Okay. All right, now. We're going to go wide, right? So let's think about this. This is going to be purple. And I was going to do a stripe. Wide ones, right? So we we're going to do six inches apart. So. Can I leave now? Hold this, I gotta go. Partner quit on me again. So, I think there so far. I think that would be good. We'll push stripe. Now, see, the stripes I think are supposed to be, right? I've never done this, so I'm not sure. Actually, that doesn't look like it's too straight, does it? You think about it. So the stripe is going to be black. The hood's going to be purple. I think the dent is what's throwing me off. So this is going to be our first stripe that is black. Okay, six inches. And then we're going to do another stripe over here and over six inches. So let's take a look at what it's going to look like with the tape. Let's see if that's what we want to do. Maybe, maybe not. One of these days I'll actually buy something that I can use to hold the phone. Because as you can see, my partner likes to do his own thing. So, not sure if you folks can see. I hope you can. But, uh, for those of you just joining me, I'm working on my 66 Caprice. And I am thinking about putting rally stripes on this thing. So, this will be one. And then I measured six inches. So six inches would put me right about here. The beautiful part about masking tape is, is we can move it if we don't like it before we actually put the paint on it. It's been sanded and put. So this would be your first stripe. Right? And this would be the beginning of the next stripe. And then we went six inches over from here. This actually looks like it's a little messed up. It's kind of crooked. So I've never done this before. This is my first time. But the beautiful part about working on cars is you can do whatever you want, whenever you want to it, because it's your car. You know what I'm saying? So that looks like it's not good either. It doesn't seem to be laying down the way I'd like it to lay down. So with that, all right, and this would be your second stripe. So we measured 
six inches from that point over. So this is going to be your first strike, and this is going to be your second strike. I think we got a good spot here. So let's go six over from here. What's up, camera? You can go. You can take it, girl. Go. Go that way. Okay. So. I think we'll go right here with the six. See the six inch mark? Oh, you can see what I'm doing. And this is where your second strike is going to go. And we're already pretty much sanded and painted. So I have to find something that's going to be able to hold my phone. But as you can see, the concept, okay? So I was going to do my first raisin stripe here, all black. Hood's going to stay purple here. Then we're going to run our second stripe here to here. That's your six inch mark right there. So let me, uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to get tape and we're going to tape everything off. I'm not sure if you folks can see. Can you see from up here? Really wish I had something to hold the camera, but kind of used to just walking around and you know holding the camera and talking. But uh, let's see if this will give us a view so I can get that other stripe on there. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, you guys can see. Here's where I made my six. So, what I did was is I measured the width, of the, measured the whole width of the hood. All right, and really it was 59 or 58. We measured the center of the hood, rolled over to 29. We made a mark, we had tape down the center of the hood, measured from the center to here six inches. This is going to be your first black stripe. This is going to stay purple. And then we're going to do another stripe here. So here's your six inch mark. So we measure here to here for six inches. And this is where your second stripe is going to go. Make sure, see, so it's not sitting straight as you can see. So that's a good one. What I'm asking for is we can start over again and redo it. So we're going to do, I don't know if anybody's ever pinch striped before, but that looks pretty good. And right there, all the way down. And across the front onto the drill. All right, so we got kind of going crooked right there. And just pull this up a little bit. Bring it a little bit over to the mark of the six. Right there. Okay. And it actually looks like it's still a little too far. Oh, no, that's all right. All right. So, here you have it. One black stripe, one black stripe. The rest of the hood's going to go perfect. That's what we're going to try to do. So, and that's going to be a rally stripe there and a rally stripe here. Two racing stripes, never died before. But we're going to give it a shot. So now we're going to do is finish taping. And then what we have to do is we have to get paint. Make sure that's straight and not crooked. That looks pretty good to me. So there's going to be your. I think we got to move the tape over just a little bit because it's looking a little crooked. Take it over. Just a little bit this way. It would be a big help if I had help, but you got teenagers and they got more important things to do, like have fun. Which is totally cool. So there you go. So you have a big den here. Like I said, this hood is but that looks good to me. That looks that looks like it's gonna be a nice, nice stripe. And we already have. And what I can do is I can redo the black. I can redo the black, but I, I got another can of enamel and I can always go get another can. There's the concept, okay? Those of you just joining, beautiful 66 Caprice. We've been working on the car for a long time. Played around, we made the headlights purple, we made the wheels purple. Kind of like the purple-black combo. Then I decided to flip-flop. We decided to go with just a purple gloss. The color's really grown on me. I like this color, so we're going to stick with this color. And uh, 
to each man his own or something it's called. So what I decided to do was, I like the black, I like the purple. So I'm going to paint the whole car purple, but we're going to make black rally stripes, okay? So what I did here, for those of you just joining, took, I mean, listen to me, I'm not a professional body man, okay? This is all experimental for me. I'm just winging it, man. And that's a beautiful part about having a project car. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, wherever you want. So what I did was is I took a simple tape measure. Anybody can do this. I don't care who you are. Anybody can do this. I say, we, we sanded that section down with, with a piece of scotch Bright. You buy this at Home Depot or Lowe's. So you don't want to dig too deep. You want to make sure most of the major prep work is done. If the hood is not, this hood's been stripped. And we put uh, epoxy resin on it for a foundation. And then we put, 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 put it black enamel on top. So, But I'm back to this. We're going to run a purple stripe. And then over here, another purple stripe. So we got two six-inch purple racing stripes. I mean, yeah, black stripes. I'm sorry. Black, black, stay purple. I'm really excited to see how this is going to turn out. So I'm going to get my stripes finished, my taping all finished. And then I'm going to get paper, cut paper. I'm going to run paper here. We're going to run paper down the fender. We're going to cover everything up that we don't want purple. Whatever we don't want purple. And then we are going to lay down the purple. And then we will remove the tape once the purple sets, which doesn't take long. So I am going to put you folks down again. Uh, hopefully uh, you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can, but uh, I'm going to try to put you like this maybe. How's that? No, that's not too good, is it? I put you up in the air. Let's try like that. Let's do it like this. Okay, that actually kind of puts you right at me. And I put the paint there. How's that? Tack it on. Try and get it as even as you can, like I'm doing here. Kind of hot out here today. The things are getting sticky. Oh, there you go. Lay it down on top of the other one so you have a good guide. And then just try to lay it down straight. Like I did here. Lay it flat. There you go. Very nice and smooth. See that? Oh. And if you really wanted to do things, you know, really good. This kind of actually looks like it went over just a little too far. I definitely want this to, I mean, you don't want to make this look like a nightmare. So there we go. So there we go. Here. 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 Pinstripe right here. Six inch black. Six inch black. The rest of the hood's going purple. Oh, I see. All right, we're going to get two six inch rally, rally start racing stripes. So, now I've got to get out my roll of paper and tape everything off that I don't want. I'm going to cover all this. This is going to be purple, black, black. I think it's going to look pretty cool. It's black. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the purple down first. All right, just get an idea of what she looks like. 66 Chevy Caprice made the lights purple, made the wheels purple. Um, we decided to go with purple gloss, the whole car. I picked this color. I love this color. I think it's cool. It's not going to be your average Chevy Caprice. It's not going to be your average Chevy Impala. I don't want it to be. I don't want it to mix, blend in. I want it to stand out. So purple with the wheels, purple dice or valve covers. Right now I am out here and I have got the thinking that we're going to do dual black rally stripe on, on, on all the way, all the way. We're going to go all the way with it. Uh, the width of the hood is 59, we measured, so we'll do the same same setup as we did on the hood we're going to do on the roof and do on the top. And all the top surfaces have been stripped, so they went down to bare metal. You always got to have a good foundation, which means you got to use like an epoxy resin primer. It's expensive, but it's worth it. Put four or five coats of that down, and then we laid about six, about, probably about six coats of the black enamel. That's what you see here. So, uh, like I said, I decided to go with the purple, and we are going to tape everything off here now, and we are going to... Uh, put down the stripes. We're going to lay down the stripes. And uh, here's my paper here. And uh, like I said, uh, we are going to 
I think this is going to look amazing, to be honest with you. We're going to find out if it does. We're going to stay black here, six inches. We're going to stay black here, six inches, and the rest of the hood's going to go purple. Just give us an idea. I said earlier, the hood's warped from heat and stuff. It's a crappy hood, but it's okay. It's my car. It's a project car, and that's, the, you know, they're not supposed to be perfect, right? So, backyard build, first time doing this. I've always liked rally stripes. I think the purple and black is an amazing setup. So, let's uh, put an end to my talking. Let me see if I can go find something to prop you guys up so you guys can watch how me tape this off and get it ready to go. I'm going to put you guys here for now. I'll be right back. It'll be two minutes. He's got six viewers. See, he did this subscriber only thing. Uh, so, you know, people can't comment if it sucks. Go do something. You kids won't do nothing. I'm back, everyone, and I'm going to try to set you guys up so you can watch me put these rally stripes on. Watch me put down the rally stripes and uh, purple out the hood. So I'm going to try to put you guys over here, see how this looks for you guys. I got a holder, I believe. Should do the trick, I hope. See if I can even get it open. I'm trying to get it open now. Okay, grab the wrong side. Right. Just give me a minute here. Technical difficulty. Right, let's see. And that happened. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know if you guys can see. That looks like it could be good. Tape and our paper. today and picked me up a new knife for this project. Nothing expensive, nothing too fancy. Like I said, anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. Sure. 
it's safe, we're going to go a little higher. This is going to be black. It's going to be a six inch racing shirt. Alright, we're going to keep this point purple. So what we want to do is we want to run our paper. We're going to go up pretty far with it because we've got to cover the windshield. We don't want to touch it. Put that there. For a loop back. I forgot what I was getting into. That's our racing stripe. So if that's our racing stripe, then we want to keep that covered, right? We want to do the perfect part. So what we have to do is we have to cover the racing stripe so that's what we're going to do here. We want to paint this one. Right? So it's kind of tricky, it's confusing. You can get really confused if you're not careful. You can Getting ready to cover the strike. Paint the strike. I don't want to paint the strike. I don't want to do that. Now the good thing is it's a project car. It's my first time doing this. We're gonna find out just exactly how cool this is gonna be. And, and you know what the beautiful part is? Stamp paper's not that expensive. You can very easily remove it all and start over. And that's what I might do. I mean I might even switch the hoods. Because the hood, like I said, they get old, the heat, the heat warps the metal, does numbers on it, so sometimes you have to uh, doing half the hood right now. Just to say. We don't want to commit to the whole thing yet. We're going to do half of it. For those of you just joining, Chap and Joe here decided we're going to paint the car purple. Working on the car since 2019. The whole car is a complete backyard build. What little bit of money I do have, I put it into the name. Um, we today are doing Rally racing stripes. So this is going to be one stripe. The other stripe's already been covered. So this one's going to be a little trickier because we have to cover that up. So you have to remember though where the stripes are going, where they're not. You don't want to paint the last track. So I just got a little confused. Myself. Remember, that's a stripe. Right? The stripe is covered. The first stripe is going to be here. This is purple. This is the second stripe. I want to cover, I want to protect the strength. So. 
Most of the heavy body work's already been done on the vehicle. Let's cover this part first. See, they don't get good views. This is going to be your other shot. Let's cover this up. Scratch the hood. Try to lift it up. You know. Extra piece. Put racing stripe underneath here as well. Valley restores for some custom car shop. This is just a shaft I'm trying to make this car with. Right. This is your rally strike right here. So keep that protected. Okay. All right, I'm going to cover up the windshield. paper that I'm using, you can get that at Lowe's or Home Depot. Very affordable. Very good. It's a lot better than newspaper. I used to use newspaper. Let's so, uh, see how this is going to come out. Kind of a uh, little, uh, little thing. See. We'll see. And here's our purple here. All ready to go. Not ready though. We gotta get the spender covered. And we gotta cover the front grill as well. We don't wanna wanna paint the grill. We're almost there to paint them. Hang on. I 
like to work on cars, but I haven't been doing it because the heat. The heat's just been terrible. East Coast, Pennsylvania, the heat's been terrible. And you know, I don't have a garage. I don't have those big fancy places to go. Let's just double check if something's not looking right. This should be fixed. And it's 10. So what did I do wrong? Um, people might be alright here. something up here. There's supposed to be six inch trucks. Six inches right there. Right there right six inches. So I screwed up. I put too much tape. Because this one looks right. This one's going to look right. Well, this one's not right either. why I'm getting confused. So it's been sanded, it's been prepped.
I know that the inside of these are It goes. Just do it. Ah. Hopefully you folks can see what I'm doing and I ain't wasting everybody's time. What you want to try to do is you want to try to keep it as even as possible. And you don't want to overdo it. I like to coat it. Try to put it on as even as possible. A couple of coats. This is just regular gloss purple. I should be wearing a mask. Hopefully we can get the same measurements on the other side. So when we're done, we should have a black racing stripe here and a black racing stripe there. I screwed up. I did screw up. I did screw up. I did screw up. I should have taped it from here. So instead of black stripes, we now have purple stripes. So I screwed up. I knew something wasn't right. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like with purple stripes, I guess. We're going to have to re-sand the whole thing and do it all over again. But when I ran the tape here... Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Because we're going to have a black stripe here. Okay, and then when I tape off this side to do this side for the purple, you'll get your other black stripe. I didn't screw up. Okay. I probably, I 
guys will use a spray gun and a compressor. I don't have both. Oh, I do have the compressor. I have a spray gun. I'm doing things differently, yeah. We do things a little bit different around here, folks. You don't want to be too close. You're too close, you're going to run it. Now you gotta let that sit. Gotta let that sit. Hopefully you folks have been watching. I don't know if you have been. Pull you off the little thing there. Oh, 38. Nice. Okay. Hopefully you guys were able to see that. But uh, this is what we look like. For those of you just joining who don't know what I'm doing, um, I wanted to put a rally stripe on the car. See the car? 66 Chevy Caprice. We decided to paint the car this color. Gloss purple. We did the wheels. Love the wheels. See the wheels. Wheels came out real nice. So today I got the brilliant idea. Let's put a rally stripe on it. Paint the thing purple. And let's see what it looks like with a with a with a rally stripe. So I am right now in the process of putting down purple. Now I thought I screwed up. I wanted to do six inch stripes, right? And when I take this paper and taper off, I centered the hood, I measured the hood, 58 across. So I made lines and uh, six inch stripes is what I wanted. So if you measure this, you should be at six. I mean, not that, <laughs> this, this would be six underneath here and then there'll be six here. And then when I tape this other side, you'll see what I'm talking about, how it came out. But I think it, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I gotta let it sit for a minute and see what it's gonna look like. Let me take a look at the, the, the coat. It's kind of orange peely, but hey, you know what? It's spray paint. What do you want? I think it's really going to be interesting. I think it's going to be an interesting color. The paint came out pretty good. Now, I do have something goofy that I did back here that I didn't do on any other ones. Is I have this wheel paint. Okay, and this kind of glazed on clear. But what I did was to give it a little metallic. Well, this is what I put on here now. The purple gloss, right? Okay, that's what I did. So now, I think I'm gonna put a light coat of this metal cast dupla, and that's what's on the wheels. But see, here's what happens when you put it on the metal. It's almost like a clear, and it gives a little bit of a sparkle. So we're gonna do real light. There you go, ready? Real light, real light, real light. Give it a little bit of a, a sparkle, and as everybody knows, I've been telling you guys, I ain't no professional mechanic or professional body man. So all this stuff I'm doing is backyard build stuff, man. So I think it's gonna look hot. See how that toned it down a little bit? Now that should give it a little. I know the sun's rough. I mean. There you go. So under here, there should be a black stripe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this tack up for a minute, and then we're going to peel it see how she looks. And then to get our... This is what we're going for. <laughs> we're going for a black rally stripe. So no, it's not a Roadrunner. It's a Chevy. <laughs> but uh, I think she's going to look pretty good, to be honest with you. I really do. Um, I never had a car with orange stripes. See, right now, put my finger in the tape. Stay. What's going to happen is, is if, if you let it sit too long, you'll want to peel the paint up. So we're going to try and get it to come off now. And we're going to be real slow about it. See it? There you go. See? You don't want it to get too hard because then what will happen is you'll peel the new paint. Okay. There we go. There we go. 
Come on, big girl. There we go. There it is. Okay. That stinks. Got a little bit of an overspray there. I didn't get the paint tight enough, which was dumb, so my fault. But there's your uh, purple. Now, this will be the rest of your stripe here. I get this out without ruining everything. My phone's telling me that the uh, temperature's too high. So. But you get the concept, right? There's your racing stripe. Ouch. There it is. There's your racing stripe. So now what I can do is I can redo the black to get it. Or I can make it smaller. But there it is. There's the idea. There's the concept. See? You got a six inch racing stripe there. Right? That's my thinking on the design. That's where I was going with this. Um, now to get the other. So I don't know if that stripe is too big. Let's take a look what it looks like with the fender. The fender and gun. Don't worry, we, we cut it off at the fender. So. What the heck? Sometimes it's good too to run the tape across your pant leg so it's not as sticky. There you have it. <laughs> now see that black is pretty rough so what we're going to do is we're going to wait 24 hours. I'll come back on here and I'll redo the black for you. But there it is. Let's see what the center looks like. You ready? And there's your other stripe. See it? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this tape. Right? We're going to leave this tape because we're going to tape. We're going to do, we're going to do the next stripe on this side. So. Actually, it looks like you got purple stripes, and you really should. You have black stripes, or is it purple stripes and black stripes? Ah, oh, no! Darn it! You see that? You saw that, didn't you? That's what happens when you do a backyard build. But didn't get it too bad, but there it is. So actually, that looks like a purple stripe. So I should have, when I taped it, taped it opposite. That's what I should have done. So I definitely did screw that up. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. I banged that one up. So we learned trial by error, right? So what I can do now is I can sand all that. Or I can leave it. But then it wouldn't make sense to leave it if I was going to do a purple car, right? So um, you should have black here and purple here, purple here. That's where I screwed up. So we know that I didn't do it right. <laughs> but it kind of looks okay, right? I guess. I don't know. We'll see. But... Uh, there it is from a distance. I don't know what you all think, but uh, I definitely screwed up. I, I didn't tape it right. The purple is supposed to be black, and the black is supposed to be purple. So it would look better the other way around. So I screwed it up. And I don't know how I screwed it up, but I did screw it up. I thought covering what I wanted to be black was what I wanted to do. But then again, they are... You know, I could do is I could knock the edge down on this bring that over but uh let's see what it looks like from an aerial view and then i'm gonna put an end to the video and uh just stay tuned you know i got a show coming up on the ninth um i'll leave to be playing with the chevy or i'll be playing with the yeah see we definitely banged that up it was our six inch purple stripes so we definitely have to try again i think it looks interesting but it's definitely not right they should be black so i purpled my black stripes and I, I don't I can't for some reason in my head I can't figure out what I did wrong and how I flip flopped that so I'm going to have to figure that out on the other side and get it right but the part that's black should be purple and the purple part should be black and they're definitely not the right size either so first step first try at rally stripes bombed <laughs> but paint don't look too bad so but uh, you all have a great day thank you for watching and listen follow me 
all of my stuff is content, car car related. Once in a while, you'll get a goofy video here and there, but not too often. Most of the stuff is car related. Chaplain for Riders, Racers for Christ. I go to a lot of a lot of car shows, a lot of racetracks. You'll see a lot of amazing cars, a lot of cool cars, a lot of car stuff. And uh, I'll give a shout out to American Muscle. American Muscle HD, um, you can find here on TikTok or Instagram, and uh, check out some of his content, but uh, that's my first plug for him, by the way, and uh, if you do uh, reach out to him, mention Chapel Joe, and, uh, but there it is, purple, I banged it up, should be, I mean, it could be black racing stripes when I do the rest of the car, I mean, I guess it could be, right, but it kind of looks like purple stripes to me, so, definitely did not do that the way it should have been done, I don't think, but, uh, you all have an amazing afternoon. Thank you for joining me and follow before you go. And uh, I have a show coming up on the 9th of September, keeping the promise. And uh, I'll probably be playing with this thing again. Eventually, we're going to tear the floor out of this thing. And we're going to tear the trunk pan out. Um, I got to do the, I got to redo the suspension in the back fuel tank. We got some rot in the back. We got to do, we do the valance, but, uh, we're going to try to correct this next time. So we'll do a part two on the stripes, figure out what I did wrong. I, I guess I have one of those ups, upside down brains that do the wrong things, <laughs> but, but there it is. I mean, I don't think it looks too bad with the purple wheel, but backyard build, we learn trial and error. So don't be afraid to try anything with these old cars. I mean, these old cars are amazing and you can do things that are affordable. That didn't, I didn't go to a paint shop, did I? No. Six dollars worth of paper, uh, about twenty dollars worth of spray paint, and about forty-five minutes of my time and your time. And there it is. There you get purple rally racing stripes. We're definitely going to go purple with the vehicle one day. But uh, interesting, right? Uh, you all have a great day. God bless you all, and uh, follow me before I bounce. Um, and uh, stay tuned for some more killer content. All right, everybody. God bless. Have a beautiful day.